Welcome to Water Deep Dragon Heights True Surface. God! <laughs> Literally, I just didn't even know they were talking right up to the very last second. Welcome to Rag Water. Oh my god. <laughs> Welcome to Water Deep Dragon High Street Surface. I am your DM. Um, today, I think I am a little fairy dragon within my tiny little cave, surrounded by pastries and little crystals. And because you guys have all wandered near my lair, you are compelled to leave me a gift. Victoria. <laughs> Would you like oh, to do announcements? Yeah, I'm a little petty for like those little square cakes, Aww. and I'm s and and the dragon is laying its little head on me like a tiny <laughs> pillow of sugar, and and in that sugary sleep, a dream hits the dragon, and that dream is thanks, little dragon corp and cardboard castle games, our sponsors. <clears throat> Little Dragon Corp is a Canadian dice company that supplies all kinds of cool tabletop gear. You can check out their Twitter at LittleDragonCo1 to stay updated on all their awesome products. And you can use the coupon code PROBONUS, P-R-O-B-O-N-U-S, when you head over to LittleDragonCorp.com. They'll give you 10% off of your order. Cardboard Castle Games is a lovely game store local to the Evans, Georgia area. Please give them your patronage if you find yourself there and tell them Proficiency Bonus sent you for 10% off. Or if you're not in Evans, Georgia, don't fret. You can check them out online. Don't forget to check out our other games. The schedule is posted below the Twitch video feed or you can do exclamation point schedule in the chat. Basically, we stream almost every day here at Proficiency Bonus. Um, sorry, I just realized I took my dice out and didn't organize them and now I just was overcome with grief. Um... <laughs> <laughs> we have games for several of the major published 5e modules as well as some homebrew games and some of our games even feature systems other than 5e entirely so hopefully we've got something up your alley also we're always recruiting players gms and other friends for our channel please check out our twitter at prof bonus for updates on recruiting or just come join our community discord and get like direct communications from the horse's mouth or whatever i don't know what that saying is um we welcome all experience <laughs> levels from veteran gamers to total newbies we encourage people who are black indigenous or other people of color as well as members of the lgbtqiap2s plus community to join us as well thank you to adrian von ziegler for some of the music we use here on wednesdays he's a talented composer he's got great t content usage rules for small streams like ours please check out his youtube and patreon and support him if you can christy yeah. Anything for Mystic Hour? Uh, potentially. Uh, I can't confirm yet because we still have some emergency stuff happening in the background in real life. I will try to stream tomorrow, but there's no guarantee it will happen. Yeah. That's it from me. Does anyone else have any other announcements? Who? <clears throat> huh? Who? Beep, beep, boop, boop. Who? Yum jar. You're muted, honey. You're muted. I muted myself instead of unmuting myself. I'll recap. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> don't laugh at me. Hi, everybody. My gift to you is a 80% accurate... Re <laughs> Quiet. An 80% accurate retelling of the events of last session. So, um, if I'm looking at my notes here correctly, the party had just been kindly asked to go upstairs by Victoro Castellanter himself, who had decided to appear at this party that we've been trying to infiltrate. We didn't know why he was here, but he knew for sure that we weren't supposed to be present at this party so he brings us upstairs which leads to a rather tense i'm i can't really call it a negotiation we were just sort of bullying each other we're calling him out for all of the things that he's done to the city to us to other people he repeatedly calls us incompetent um, and points out that, you know, why should we get to do what we want to do because we don't have a plan, which isn't true. It's just that our plan is vague 
and doesn't have all the steps, and we don't know if it'll work. But we have a plan, and it involves not killing a whole bunch of people, so it's already better than what he's decided to do. That was the logic that we brought forward. Um, but with some back and forth, um, speaking with Victoro, and pleading to the shriveled up little ounce of humanity that may be inside that man's soul, Jerry's still out on it, that if he truly cared for his children, he would go through every possible means to save them, which includes using his connections in the city to try and find a way out of the contract, even if it would mean his own admittance of being a devil worshiper and possibly destroying everything that he's built. To which he kind of agreed? Tentatively agreed. Now we are going back downstairs into the party while um, Talus, who has not been caught, is attempting to find uh, Elzarina, uh, his daughter, since we have one of two children, and we still need to eliminate the poison. Um, so yeah, just a lot of really tense uh, conversations with a very, very bad man. And that's where we left off, pretty much. I know there was a whole bunch of like little, little things here and there, but I mean, that's that that's it. That's we got mostly. Terenzio out. We did get Terenzio out. I believe. Yeah. Yes. Not I believe. Illusory Moongi dragon. had them. That moonwalk. Yeah, Moongi, Moongi, Moongi took him away. Okay. So yeah, that's uh. That's where we're at. Yep. I'm so, I'm so, I look so sickly. <laughs> <laughs> so. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, he went off to go check on a guard situation, and that guard situation being the dragon that randomly appeared in the street. I forgot! The fairy past. If you want to talk yeah. about the dragon, you may. <laughs> no, I, I mean, that's basically it. A dragon. Not real. An illusory dragon. But not the spell illusory dragon. <laughs> you got it. It appeared as a distraction. It's all mm -hmm. good. Yeah. I was following. You were indeed. Um, so, <laughs> so those two are walking off. What is everybody else doing before I get to them? Uh, I think. Do you want to go talk to Sephia or yeah. do? Yeah, or should we I think, just go straight for the poison? I think, yeah, I think either finding Sephia or finding the poison, either or, we have to get that settled. Like, quickly. Split the party. <laughs> you are getting to a point in the evening where dinner is being set up. Mm -hmm. It's not dinner time yet, but the staff of the house and, like, the caterers of the party are setting the tables up upstairs in the ballroom area which means that everybody who was in the ballroom area has been ushered downstairs so the yard and the downstairs of the home are a lot more crowded than they were before remind me did did victoro tell us where the poison is when we asked I don't think he did but i'm pretty sure we have a pretty good idea and sepia does know yeah oh i told you all because Sephia okay. told me, and then I told you all. Yes. Oh, okay. okay. So, yes. yes. Then I so will just go. Know. Then you I... know where it is. It's just you learned it from me. Okay. okay. Then I will do that. I will go try and find the poison. To... I'll go with you. Yeah. Because... Let's, let's nullify that. Yeah. Okay. You're the po poison nullification squad. I don't want to leave Frey alone with Victoro. So, Fair. I'll Fine. respectfully... I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> I'll... Uh, I'll not follow directly behind him like a shadow, but I will follow, uh, because I believe after he, or I'll wait, because he's dealing with the guard situation, and then I believe we would be going to go see Sephia. Okay. Um, Talus, what would you like to be doing? Um, 
I'm the maid right now, or the nanny, the and nanny. I, bu I bullied Ezevel Ravazanar, Rosnavar, uh, into, <laughs> I bullied the shit out of her into going to look for Elzarina. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, um, fuck, I'm gonna help the pool. I'm gonna help the poison team. I'm gonna so that I'm still in the house. Okay. <clears throat> I will start, I think, with poison team. Um What are you guys doing? Are you heading directly to that door? There are a lot of guards around and there is also a very crowded party. Like shoulder to shoulder almost. There's a lot of people here and it's not a it's a it's a villa, but it's not like an open floor plan so each of like the different rooms are relatively crowded are you attempting to do this secretly or are you brazenly going into the cellar is it did we figure out if it's locked it's i don't think so i someone I, opened it it's not I, locked because sir tried to open it up it's just that it has a it's designed to be kind of like part of the design of the wall so that yeah. it's subtle. Um, but yeah, it, it you you should just be able to flip the latch. Um oh my god, I should like open my character sheet. Oh Jesus. Um Is Miko still a cat? No, I am not still a cat. He had to change because Victoro made him. What do I have? What do I have? Um... I'm just gonna stand in front of the door and try to let <laughs> Black... <laughs> Black's my friends from being seen. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm gonna try being stealthy. Alright, um, so Nova and Miko, you're just using Talos' cover, essentially? Yeah. Well, go ahead and roll me stealth checks. <laughs> We're gonna get kicked out again. I'm wondering if Honestly, if a guard comes and is like, you need to get out, I'm just gonna punch him in the face. For posterity's sake, you essentially have half cover. Um, but that's kind of really only going to be relevant mechanically if, like, a combat happens, but just so you're aware. 21. Okay. Sorry, what am I, what am I rolling? Stealth. Stealth. Okay. Sorry. Yeah, it's okay. Nova wanted- No! Oh my god! Nova! No! <laughs> Hang on, let me ro ro roll this real quick while I stop my cat. Uh, yeah, that, that fucking tracks, so that's, uh... It's less than 10. I don't want to calculate. Okay. It's less than 10. Okay, sounds good. Nova. <laughs> Do I also have to roll? Um, I'm going to say roll a performance check for me. Because you're not necessarily trying to be stealthy. You're trying to be... You're trying to blend in to block your friends. <laughs> so stupid. Yep, that also tracks as a natural one, so, um, an eight total. Okay. <laughs> I've inadvertently become even more attention-seeking. Let me roll on one of my tables here. Lucky bastards. Okay, um... So, Talos, you're kind of standing in front of everyone. Miko, you're going to the door to get it open. Nova is trying to assist you in that matter. And... Sephia walks through that foyer. Because where that door is, it's like underneath the stairs. So that's kind of the main... Like central point of the house where everything kind of just branches off of that point so walking through that room uh liara who you currently know as sephia walks through and she is playing a part so she sees you guys 
and she immediately makes a beeline towards you, grabs Talus by the wrist to pull her away from the door, kind of flicks Miko on the back of the head. What are you doing? Your boss told us we were allowed to go in the cellar. Wink! Did he know? Yes. Like, actually. Actually, yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, mentally I'd be like, yeah, actually we've somehow convinced Victoro to not murder us all upstairs, so we want to quickly get rid of the poison while we still have time, mentally. Where are the others? With Victoro. Dealing with a Just... distraction outside something about a dragon. What? Yeah, I don't know. I did that. Oh. <laughs> that yeah. makes sense. So not, so not an actual dragon. I was, okay. Um, does he know? He doesn't exactly. know, but he doesn't know who you are. He just knows that you're not Good. her. Good. Okay. Um, he tried to like talk to her like several times. And yeah, he, like, it didn't connect. Why isn't she picking up? It was kind of funny. I mean, I honestly sort of expected that to happen. Uh, I didn't expect him to come all the way here, considering his circumstances, but... Apparently... Why did he come here? Because he he said that there was an alarm on the system, and anyone that was not supposed to be here, like, triggered it. Basically, he t said if you were, like, magically under a disguise, he that's, made a spell that's what it that was. would point it out. Oh, see, I, total I thought it was going to be the cat burglar. I me, thought, too. Like, me too. Me too. Me <clears> too. <throat> I know who she is. Well, you do. I just who? bullied her. You bullied her? Who is uh, it? Yeah. Come here. I'll tell you. She'll like lean forward. Azabel Rosnivar. No. <laughs> it makes yes, so much sense. She, she had this mask that can, was like. Um, are we going to gossip or can I go in the cellar? Yeah, can we go? Right, sorry. She <laughs> like, 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 the door. <laughs> <laughs> but all the other side quests, though. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that was. God, like, out of character, that was like two years ago. That was so long ago oh, that you guys did that. <laughs> I just. That's one of those things for me as a DM that I get like giddy about where it's like everything finally comes together. I know. Anyway. Like it started off with like a simple rumor that we heard and then it kind of just yeah. like, oh, that's so cool. I love that. I love that yeah. so much, Chell. I'm so glad that happened. <laughs> anyway, she will open the door for you. Um, so what is the plan? Is there going to be a toast? Because... Uh, are you just nullifying the poison? Is Because it... as much as I fucking hate to say it, I am still running a fucking party. And if I have an entire house full of hundreds of nobles who don't have a glass of wine to toast to at the end of this evening, they're going to riot because uh, they're... Well, in all fairness, That's it should be are. safe to drink once we purify it, right, Miko? Yep. No worries. Great, Magic. Good. Okay. Why did you say it like that? Like, I don't know what magic is. <laughs> well, I was more like just doing it for like flair. You know what I mean? That didn't come off. I just don't think you have a sense of, you know. How much time do we have before the dramatic. toast? <laughs> Sevia. I'm a bard. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that is. So there. Dabble's one of those. I don't care about the twink. <laughs> oh my god, just go in the cellar. <laughs> Wait, how much time do we have before the toast? I asked Sophia. Like, roughly. Uh, it's probably about. They're getting dinner set up now, so it, depending on how long it takes them to eat, an hour maybe? Perfect. Okay. I'm gonna go find your other friends. Okay. Sir and the other one who thinks my name's Olivia. Um, <laughs> despite. Me telling him otherwise. It uh, actually works out. In it your works favor out, yeah. Because it means he's less likely to say your real name. So oh, I know, I know. I just think that. it's funny and. <laughs> yeah, Victoria S., that's who it on. is. We can go on and on about intelligence levels a different day. <laughs> I'm gonna go make sure they don't die. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> the look on Derek's face, like. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I hate insulting. <laughs> 
watching you guys even in character. <laughs> we are so salty. I love her. Yeah, we um, go in. Bye, Sophia. Bye, Sophia. Olivia, Sophia. Sophia for now. Bye. Seth Livia. Seth Livia. <laughs> she goes off. And because you were speaking with basically every guard's boss here right now. Yeah. You are not stopped or questioned or anything else beyond her walking through and seeing you. I, oh, should I like change my outfit into like a waiter or like just another Ooh. noble mm. or a guard? If there are people down there um, that are like super culty and just staying down there, they probably don't know that Sephi is like upstairs, so you could just be her. Good idea. Woo. <laughs> if there's if there's room to do so as we're going down where we're unseen, I'm gonna become Sephi up. <laughs> okay. That was way too smart for Miko. I'm sorry. I'm just too intelligent sometimes. That's really I love that. I was gonna say like yeah, blend in, but like that works too. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm gonna pop over to our friends with Victoro. He is led to the carriage house by a guard. With Frey close behind. How far are you sticking back, sir? Um, as far back as it needs to not get him mad at me. Uh, so, like, enough that I guess he can talk to the guards and it's not seen as, like, listening in purposefully. Yeah? Okay. So maybe that's, like... <clears throat> 10 or 15 feet away okay. is a respectable distance. Mm -hmm. <coughs> so the guard leads him into the carriage house, which has the big like garage door open to the street. Open. And there are a couple of guards standing there talking. Dragon is gone. And he comes in and tell me what's wrong. And they all kind of stand at attention. <clears throat> um... Okay, so this is going to sound really unbelievable, and I need you to really bear with me here. And he doesn't respond. He's just got this very blank look on his face, very tired, just, I have other more important things to be doing right now, sort of face. I'm mirroring that look. Oh my god. <laughs> um, so we were standing out here on either side of the door like we're supposed to because we're supposed to make sure anybody going in and out is like supposed to be here right toro's nodding slowly and it opens and then suddenly like it like bursts from the ground and he looks at the street which is perfectly fine and paved and not destroyed <laughs> what burst from the ground Okay, this is the part where I need you to bear with me. <laughs> if you don't stop dancing around what the issue is, we're going to have an issue. Speak. It was a- it was a dragon? A dragon. Yeah, a dragon. A massive lizard. Burst from the ground. Right outside of the carriage house. Yeah. <laughs> so why is the street not destroyed? And the guard kind of looks back. He looks at him. He says, you know, that's a really great question that I wish I could <laughs> answer for you. <laughs> Toro, it kind of sounds like your guards have been, like, eating magic mushrooms or some kind of... As much as, you drug. Sound, as much as what you're saying sounds to be correct, I didn't ask your opinion. Ah, I was just giving it anyways. <laughs> and that's Garrett's characters. Now. And he looks back to the guard. <clears throat> so. Step by step. What happened? 
You said the, the garage door opened? Yeah, it opened, and a carriage started to come out, and the dragon burst from the ground. Okay, so I'm going to need you to use some logical thinking here. So dragon burst from the ground, but there's no destruction in the streets. And it happened right as the garage door opened, and a carriage left. And the guard, you can see, he's like trying to think through it. Don't you think that maybe that wasn't real? Perhaps an illusion, even? It's what it sounds like to me. I didn't ask your opinion. I said silence. I am not very good at listening to that. Then back out of the carriage house now. I don't want to be near you at this moment. <laughs> Does he move? Nope. So Victoro turns to Frey and kind of puts his hand on Frey's chest and starts Ooh. pushing him to the door. Are you allowing him to push you? Sure, sure. Getting to the door, he gives you a very hard shove, so you kind of have to stumble back. Shuts it. And then turns back to talk to his guards. Is there a window? Yeah. No, not on this side. Shit. I'm just going to put my ear up against the door so I can still hear what they're talking about. Okay. Um, yeah, he didn't like... And it's, it's not like a soundproof door. It's like... It's basically like a barn. Um... <laughs> Turns back to his guard. Perhaps it was an illusion. What did you all do when the dragon appeared? Well, the dragon was our biggest concern. The illusory dragon was your biggest concern. Not the carriage leaving. Well... Do we see who is in the carriage? Well, it looked like a man. A man and... And the guard is kind of silent. I need you to think for once. A man and who else? Was there a child in the carriage? I guess there could have been. As, as he says this and I hear, you know, if they were, um... He bangs his fist against the door. <laughs> Ow. But if they were high on mushrooms, uh, they, they probably, you know, hallucinated this carriage, too. So since there was no dragon and there was nothing to clean up, you and the group of you are going to go and find where this carriage went. Now. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yes, what? Yes, sir. Go. Good job. <laughs> the door opens. Oh. And like, you're like face to face with him. Although he is kind of, he, he looms over you. He, he is very tall. He's probably like 6'5"-ish. Um, you are so lucky. Huh? There is a party of guests for whom I have to keep up an appearance. Or I would slit your throat right now. Turn around and walk. Well, you could you could try. No. But do, you, do you work out? Because like you're kind of strong. Turns you and pushes you. <laughs> Should I go with them to help look for the carriage? Why would you go with them? I don't he's know. like, he's like, God. I'm his just making hand, small talk, okay? He's got his hand on like Frey's shoulder and like, a, I'm friendly and we're friends and I'm gonna like guide you over to Ooh. Sir where I see you over there. But he's squeezing the back of your neck. I, I could actually, <laughs> yeah, that that actually feels good. Can you can you go to the shoulders a little bit? As you get to Sir, he pushes him into Sir. And so, Sir, you kind of have to, like, catch him a little bit. Victoria's kind of strong. 
I, and he didn't tell me what his workout routine was, though. I don't understand. You are the boldest man in water tea. <laughs> and, and that, and that, and that. <laughs> Someone just handed me a, a another champagne flute. They Probably. Just keep, they just keep Yeah, they just keep coming. <laughs> Sir, you can see Sephia walking across the yard. Her, like, dress... Ooh. She, cause she's wearing that like skirt that isn't quite a skirt. It's like a, it's got like a train kind of and a belt, and then she's wearing like a pair of like leather pants underneath it. So that like skirt is kind of trailing behind her as she's approaching. Okay. Um. Hi. <coughs> Hi. We were looking. I was for just you. looking at her. We were all looking for you. <laughs> Hi, you found me. You made friends. Who did you make friends with? I just motioned to Victoria. <laughs> He's not your friend. Right, Victoria. No, he's not. Now, what are we doing? Because I want my son. Well... We are going to make sure that that pesky poison business is dealt with and <clears throat> that all of these guests go home to their families today and we have a regular party. <laughs> sorry, hold on. Not hold on, keep going. I'm so sorry. Um, and then... And then we will reunite the children and we will proceed with this. Sir is speaking all in one sentence. Dylan is trying to figure out how to word it. Um, and then we will proceed with what we had spoken about prior about opening this situation up to our mutual connections and water deep. Then go have at it. I have a party that I have to maintain. Right. Is there anything that we should know? Like what? Like... Is the poison already been put in? Is it all in one place? We have a good idea, but if you would like to mention any other countermeasures that you may have put in place. Unfortunately for you, I had nothing to do with this party. Sephia did, but she's dead. She's right here. Oh my god. My guy, I can't, literally, I can't do this with you right now. <laughs> Fortunately or unfortunately, that at least means that there isn't an additional factor that we have to work with. Yes, you should go say hello to all of your guests and we will take care of the rest. I will say, despite the fact that his tone is very tired and irritated, he is... Why don't you all go off and do whatever it is that you're going to do? It's so great to see, sort of, <laughs> maintaining that host. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um... I will... Frey, are you going to stay here with him? Out of character question. If I oh, like... at, th at this point, no. I just wanted to make sure that he's not going to tell the guard. Like we're not going to tell the guards to like you know detain us or something. That's why I followed him out there. All right. So in that case, I will put my arm around you. I will walk us back into the building, and when we are in range with the uh, earrings, I'll just let Poison Team know that I know you're probably already dealing with it. Uh, 
but according to Victoro, there isn't really any other hidden measures that we should need to worry about. That should be oh. pretty much it. He sent some guards after uh, the, the wagon. And he sent some guards after the wagon. Yes, thank you. Uh, so um, they're going to be looking for it. So before you leave, because Sephia, Liara, Sephiara, um, would have attempted to leave with you guys, but he would have been like, he would have said, nope, you and I are going to have a conversation. Uh, uh, is she, is she calm, cool, and collected? Always. God damn, but that you're, doesn't you're, tell you anything. That tells me <laughs> nothing. Um, but can I? She does no. kind of, because she turns to walk with you and she does kind of freeze. And she's like staring off for a second. And then she'll turn like on the balls of her toes. Oh, she, she's done so much more than what our original deal was. We're going to owe her so much. But that's okay. Um, okay. Uh, if she doesn't try to signal, she knows how dense Sir is. So if she doesn't try to do something obvious to signal him, away I go because okay. I think that she's more competent than me. Okay. I also will look for a sign if any, you know, if she gives one. So roll an insight check. I won't ask for one for Sir, <laughs> unless you really want to roll one, but that's no. up to you. No. Nope. Not natural 20, just a 20. Okay. So she does that. She, like, stops in her tracks, and she turns on her ball, the balls of her toes. She probably does, like, make, make eye contact with both of you and do that, like, you know how, like, when a girl is talking to a guy in a bar that she doesn't want to talk to, and she turns to her friends, and she's like... <laughs> 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 so she probably, like, wide eyes at you for a second, and then turns, and she does move a bit slowly at first. And he does put his hand on her back, much in the same way that he does with did with you, to make sure she goes with him, and starts moving to that guest <coughs> house that's on the property. I don't like that. I don't. <sighs> so there's not much to glean from that other than yeah. like, oh my god, men sort of look. But that's up to you what you do that, with that. That ch I'm sorry. That changes what I want to do then. <laughs> that's fine. I I'm. Sir, I'm, I'm just going to keep an eye on... You know, I, I know she can handle herself. It's just a little creepy. Would rather have her, for her have some backup, just in case. You you go I, ahead. I, if you want to go with them, I like I said, I can do... I can be unseen. Look, I... I know that I can't stop you from doing literally whatever that you want to do anyway. Because. And I And I do believe that she should get a little bit of backup. But just think, just think before you do something and think, is that going to make her, it yeah. put her in a better position? Or worse. Or yes. a worse position, because... I, I know it seems like I don't put a lot of thought into things, but I do actually, but I, I understand where you're coming from. I will, I just want to <laughs> just observe. I just want to observe and see what, what happens, you know? You know, just, just think like as if you were her... And that she was going into a well, dangerous situation. I don't really and then know she her all you. that well, though. That's the thing, you know. So, but no. I will, I will not do anything that will cause her harm. She's a very competent woman. I, I got that idea. Yes. Okay. All right. Well, I will see you will in a little I bit. Will. It better be a little bit. Okay. So I once I see them heading towards the guest house. I will let them get to the guest house, and then I will start walking over there. Okay. I'm going to go to Team Poison now. So you have gone down into the cellar. Uh, so the cellar... Um, <laughs> so the stairs bring you down into a room that's about 20 by 15 feet. Uh, it is kept very clean as far as sellers are concerned. There's no cobwebs, there's no dust or anything like that. So either the servants or the staff of the party, or not the party, just like in general, have been keeping this place very, very clean, or it's not, or it's like used quite a bit in that there are people down here frequently and there's not enough time for dust to settle. 
Uh, it's very unsettlingly, unsettlingly cold down here. And in this first room contains lots of spare furniture covered with like sheets. There's a laundry tub and there's lots of trunks. There, if you go straight, there's like a hallway that f that cuts to the right that you can go down as well. Do either of you have like the special like I vision on? I can uh, do another detect poison and disease. I can see in the dark if that's what you're asking. No, no I meant like the. I mean, I can also see. I can also. But see you the can't. Dark. You I'm can't just say like, special poison. vision. And also, it's not how my thing works. I smell poison. I don't see it. It's oh weird. Oh god, okay. Well, um, can either of you do the thing that makes you aware of the stuff? Yeah, I can. I can too, but you can do it because I don't want to waste my spells. Well, I'm going to, like, out of character, I'm going, because the reason why I asked how long we have is I'm going to ritual cast, like, Purify. If I have to do it multiple times, we have time to ritually cast Purify. So Purify, I can pull up, but how much does it let you purify? A uh, five foot radius sphere. So it's not like quantity. It's No, it's space. a sphere. Okay. But I have to find it first. Yeah. Which is okay. what I will do. Like, I will just cast Detect. Uh, like I can do a ritual on that too, but I'm just going to cast it just to be quick to find it. So I will cast uh, first level detect poison and disease. Okay. Mm. Yeah, that begs an interesting question, Nova. Do you see it or do you smell it too? Do you hear it? I see auras. Thanks for the raid. Thanks for the raid. She can see the raid. I, I see a bunch of new souls in this area. I wonder what's going on. <laughs> Probably all of the people that have already been slaughtered. <laughs> all the people that have already died are here. They're, they're, they're guiding me to the poison right now. <laughs> That's cute. So immediately in the room uh, where all of the storage is, you're not detecting anything. Okay. But if you want to go down that hallway... 30 feet. You, yeah, so you step about 10 feet down that hallway, and you're able to sense poison. I go that way. At the end, in the room. I at the end of the hallway. Follow the aura. You, aura. Probably, you probably see, like, her her eyes, like, attached to the, the tattoos on her face. Like, just this part is glowing. Mm. Oh, I thought it was going to move. That would be so creepy. <laughs> so the hallway down here in the cellar is 20 feet long and about 10 feet wide and it leads into a room that is a it's a rectangular room that is perpendicular to that hallway that is about 20 feet wide and the long side is what meets up with the hallway and it is about 40 feet long okay and this room is a wine cellar. Within this wine cellar, there are, uh, uh, the east wall is lined with 30 casks of wine. So the big, like, barrels of mm -hmm. wine. Uh, there's kind of a faint draft that's in this, in this room. It's, it's just really weirdly cold in this, in the cellar. Um, and then there are lots of crates that are also filled with wine bottles. Uh, from which the poison aura is coming from. I will go to that area and point okay. it out to the other two. This. Um, while she is, like, doing the whole, like, ritual casting, um, if no one else is, like, down here, I want to look for where that draft's coming from, because we've been in this weird situation with secret things, and I want to look for a secret thing. Okay. Are all of the... Uh, is it wider than, like, this, like... 10 foot area, 5 foot radius, uh, 5 yeah, foot radius. Could I fit can cover, it in? Or, or do I have to do it amount, multiple times? The amount of wine, you mean? Yeah. yeah. So, this is going to take me a little bit of math. There's sure. <laughs> about five ish glasses of wine per wine bottle, and there's roughly 200 people here. 
Each person That's for the one. toast. Yes, each person for the toast is going to get it. I'll account for probably at least two glasses of wine because it's party, so you need to assume. So there's probably roughly 80 glasses of wine or bottles of wine here. Okay. Um, with the crates, I would say it probably takes up about 20. What's the what's the radius? Uh, it's a five foot radius spear, so I guess it'd be so 10, 10. So you'd need to cast it twice. Twice. Okay. I'll cast it once then. Okay. Yeah. Then we can both hit. Like if we like angle like the spheres, we can hit both. Like overlap. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Then I will start ritually casting. And I also, though, <laughs> the way we ritual cast is so fucking, it's probably so fucking different. Because Nico, like, digs in his bag and he, like, pulls out, like, twigs and stuff. <laughs> uh, starts, like, he pulls out, like, ink and, like, sets down, like, a uh, piece of paper and he just starts drawing on it. I feel like Nova, um, because there's no material components, apparently. Um, so I feel like she is reaching in within her soul and that connection with the spirit that she's not fully aware is there. Um, so she's going to start, um, uttering in either quarry. I don't even know if she knows what that is. Deep speech. One of the languages that's not, know what? Let's go with Celestial. Yeah, she'll start uttering in Celestial. And, I know that. Oh, hey! So it's a lot of, like, mantras in regards to, like, the chakras and the souls and, the like, the auras that she's picking up. And, like, eventually all of her tattoos begin to glow as she starts doing large motions with her hands. And even with her feet a little bit, she's shuffling around the sphere. And you see that when it activates her tattoos kind of like traveled down her feet and like s spread out around the sphere and start doing like a little dome around it. Okay. This is probably about when you get Sir's message regarding the carriage and what Victoro was doing. I don't, they do. Yeah, so um, that's not good. <laughs> What's not good? Hey, no, hey, hey, Nova, I know you're busy right now and you're, like, doing stuff. Um, yeah. Looks really cool, by the way. It's like Thanks. a little interpretive dance. Um, Victoro knows about the carriage and has all of his guards going to look for it. Fuck. And I just told Moongi to take Terenzio back to the Three of Cups. Um, <clears throat> fuck. Should I stay here and try to escort you all out, or should I just like go somewhere else and do something else? Uh, uh maybe. Of... Go ahead. Sorry. I was gonna say, out of character, did you bring sending today? I... She's ritual casting. I'm ritual casting. I can well, I use know. sending, but I'm currently ritual casting. No, 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 I know. I mean, how long does that ritual cast? 10 take? minutes. 11, technically. Oh, 11 minutes. <laughs> Right, yeah, because it's one plus one ten. Plus ten yeah. Mm. Okay. Okay. Where's Bram? I will say, if you continue too much more conversation, you'll need to start over. With okay. Retro cast, and it will use a spell. I will say because you um, started the casting, the, basically, yeah. it basically instead would cast the spell with a spell slot. Gotcha. Okay. Um. Moongi's smart. He'll figure it out. <laughs> I'm just... I'm gonna... I'm, the, hang on. I'm gonna roll. Yeah. She's... She's putting the hundreds of people over Moongi and is hoping it's that okay. he's smart enough Okay. to lay low until she can get him that message 10 minutes, 11 minutes later. She's... Okay. You you probably see her kind of like squint a little bit and there's like a flicker in, in the magic before she refocuses and doesn't respond. And in that Sir. Case... Go ahead. Sorry. 
In that case, I'm continuing. I'm looking for the. I'm still looking. Roll me an investigation check while I check in with Sir. This is probably about when you can get to the house if you'd like to join your buds in the basement. I will say there's probably a guard who is like, wait a second, but you could be like, I'm, w I'm with them. <sighs> Because they 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 were there and had seen them go down. So however you would like to handle that. I know what you're going to say, but yeah. you, this time I've clue I've squared it with Sephia and the Lord. So and they'll if corroborate that me, if I ask. Do you want to go do that right now? I can. Send he seems Sophia very busy. Okay, send Sephia a message. And he just pauses for a second. <laughs> Proceed. Thank you. And I'm going to just go in. Um, I have and... too much trouble now. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I, as I, when I, yeah, when I close the door and I'm, like, making my way down the stairs, it's like, it's not going to be any more trouble than you are. I'm going to be starting on that. Um... <laughs> And yeah, when I when I come back, is is Miko ritual casting as well right now? Mm-hmm. It okay. looks like he it literally so you... just looks like he sent out a bunch of random shit and is doodling in the middle of a circle. So so you come down to Miko doodling in the middle of a circle on a piece of paper, and Nova glowing, and Talis rubbing her hands all over the walls. <laughs> <laughs> Three of cups, never change. <laughs> um, that's fine. Um, I'm going to reach down the back of Miko's shirt because I know that's where I know that's where you put Hickory. <laughs> I know he's in your shirt somewhere. A little, little, your little head pops out. <laughs> little spider head. Hey, little buddy. spider leggy. Oh, sorry. Hey, buddy. <laughs> sorry that you haven't gotten to do anything super interesting. Tell us, what are you doing? Don't you feel that draft? I'm trying to find the source of it because we've been in like at least two different at least two different houses that had like secret shit happening and I feel a breeze and I know what that means. We're in an enclosed space right now. I've wised up to this. <laughs> um I I do you want some help? Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. We have to like pull well, on stuff and like put see if our hands go through the walls. Well, and like, um, if you actually say the secret word that is, um, sir is a stinky baby, it'll definitely like help us find the. I'm gonna pause you there. So it's a stinky baby, but I'm going to I'm going to give you. I'm going to give you Hickory because you're feeling the walls. So I feel like Hickory as a spider might be able to help find any little tiny crevices and stuff. And what I'm going to do is check and see if I have, uh, cause I believe, I believe it would work. If someone has a match, if there's a draft, we could possibly figure out where it is from where the flame is blowing. We have glitter. Um, do you have a match? Why would I have that? Well, I just couldn't fit a whole lot into like a clutch purse. Oh, well, actually, wait, hold on. I actually have all my shit. Hold on. I'm going to roll out the, the portable hole in here so that I can get my stuff and I will see... I'm just, I was just going off of like, I don't need to look in Sir's inventory. He's wearing a dress. He has nothing. But that might actually not be the case if he put his stuff in the hole, which I said he did. Do you have torches, my boy? If, if you look, my stuff is in there too, because I'm not carrying around a backpack. I do have a tinderbox in my bag. Frey, you're the best. Even though you're not here, you're helping me. <laughs> yep. Um, of course, you have to go for my stuff, but yeah. Yeah. Uh, I will go through all the stuff in the hole and hopefully eventually find the tinderbox and see if I can find that draft uh, using some tinderbox matches. Okay. Um, what was your roll, Talos? 18. 
with go ahead and roll one more time for advantage because you're being assisted. I'm gonna do the glitter dice because it's a party. It's an 18. <laughs> All right. Yeah. <clears throat> and you are lighting the tinder box, the matches, to see if that assists as well. Yeah, to see if I, because if she feels a draft, I'm hoping like, you know, the flame will kind of. Mm hmm. Okay. Um, I will say Talus had already been looking. So you probably find a couple of places that you think might potentially be a secret door. You probably get overexcited a couple of times thinking you might have found a seam or something like that. Um, sir, you light a match and the match, like the, the smoke from the match starts to drift south to the south wall. So if you'd like, you can direct Talus there. And when she is directed there with that 18, you do find behind, you do have to move a few crates, but behind said crates, and it's actually not even a, like a secret, secret door. It's literally just a door, but it's hidden behind a stack of crates. So it was not easily visible when you came into the room. I throw it open. Oh, give me a high five. It is locked. Five. So you oh. try to throw it open and you get caught. <laughs> I get my thieves tools and I go to unlock it. Go ahead and roll a check with your thieves tools. Guys, I do not trust this shit. You got All of this. my dice are being please no. OG dice. Be good. It's not bad. Uh that's Dex plus pr proficiency. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Okay. I think. Um, Christy, purify food and drink is not concentration, correct? That doesn't sound like a spell that would be. I don't think so, no. Okay. So when this door is opened, and it is indeed opened, Talos, you are able to pick the, the lock. It is just a keyhole. Um, so it's like the doorknob and then the keyhole, like, on the actual door. You are able to pick the lock open. You feel it click and it opens. Um, the moment the door is opened, Christy, Nova, there is an aura of poisoning coming from that room. There is more than you guys had originally thought. There is more poison over there! <gasps> oh my gosh. Sir, let's go find it. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, Victoria said that he didn't make this plan. This was all Sephia's plan, so um, I, I don't know if there's a trap or anything. It's fine. I don't think there is. I, unlock, I unlocked the door and a trap didn't go off, so it's totally no. fine. Okay. Also, where's Frey? <laughs> Frey? I just, I just Speaking of traps... Absence. I realized that it was extremely, like, peaceful and silent in here, other than our high five, Vic and that doesn't seem like a good sign. <laughs> Victoro, Victoro was taking Sephia away for a private talk. She wants to make sure that she's okay. I told him, I know telling him doesn't matter, but I told him to really, really think about his actions and understand that Sephia is a very competent person who can deal with that situation. And he doesn't have an earring because it's you and me and Miko. Yeah. Great! <laughs> I'm not gonna think about that. That's... His choices are between him and the gods. So you open this door and there are storage shelves within this room upon which are large gallon, like glass gallon jugs. Oh, it's a lot. There's probably five, 10, 15, 20, 40 jugs in total. Do they, oh, are they like the, the, you know, like when you get a growler and it has like yeah. the little tiny handle and yeah. it's like, Okay, so this is probably like 
Does it look like it's like... Oh my god, can I open one and does it smell like beer? It is a cl it's it's clear glass and it is a clear liquid. Opening one is very pungent. It's very like a pungent bitter sort of smell, like an alcohol, like a vodka kind of, but it's not like drinking alcohol. But you you open it and it hits you immediately in the face like that and then ceases and it's completely tasteless and like obviously you're not tasting it, but like it's completely smellless, tasteless. It's just like a moment of that pungent I don't... because they're, they're a lot more poison than we anticipated. Well, because it probably needs to be mixed into something. I don't know poison that well, but it probably needs to be mixed into something. What if we see if we pour a little bit out, if it just sort of evaporates? Or, I mean, if we just pour all of this out on the floor, like, what are they going to do? Like, pick it up, right? Wait, I take out my cane. Are you saying that we can just kind of go crazy? I'm not saying piñata it, just because there's probably a god that's... Uh, th there was a god at the, at the door, and a whole bunch of smashing might make him come down here. Um, because the thing is, they're purifying that. And then if all of these are empty they will assume that they've just been mixed in. Does it, do you think it hurts to touch this poison or whatever this stuff is? Well, I don't know that it's poison, but what, do you think? Like, if we pour it out and we walk on it, are we gonna die? Are you barefoot? <laughs> no. Then I think it should be fine. But Miko is. <laughs> well, Miko doesn't need to come in here if we pour it all. If we pour it all. There's 40 gallons. Just, just <laughs> throwing that back out there. It's gonna spill into the other room, and my <laughs> little toesies are gonna fall off. Like a whole, like a poison I mean, flood is what we're you're suggesting you here. You can still do this plan if that's what you choose to do, but there is a lot of liquid here. I mean, the only other option I can think of is that we put all of these jugs in in the portable hole, and we just roll it up, and we just take it with us, and we have a lot of poison. Has the eleven minutes ended yet? I would say it's probably ending about now. Oh, in no. which case, I'm about to go to Frey, if that's okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, Frey, you watch Victoro lead Sephiara mm -hmm. <laughs> to the guest house, opens the door, and shuts it behind them. In which case, you said you're following now that they are within the house? Yes, okay. and since it's about to be dinner, I'm assuming not a lot of people are outside at this point, right? Dinner is still being set up, mm -hmm. so nobody is allowed upstairs. So there are quite Okay, so there's still, here, still people. Yes. Okay. Um, to this guest house, it's completely separate from this main house, correct? Yes. Okay, so the main house, sure. I'm going to try and use my screen to show you. So the main house is like right here. Okay. And then the carriage house is up here, and the guest house is up here. Gotcha. And there's like a wall that kind of goes and connects them all. Ah, uh, okay. All right, so I want to try and just, I'm just gonna, you know, walk over there, and um, I, when I get over to the guest house, is there any windows? Yes, it's basically just another home. It's just smaller than the the main, like villa. So yeah, there are windows. I'm I'm going to put on my mask. Okay. I'm just going to look through the windows to see if I see them on the first floor. Okay. So immediately looking into the home through the first, like that main door, there is a mudroom that you're mm -hmm. looking at. So it's just the place where guests can hang their coats, take off their shoes and dirty boots and cloaks and things like that. Um, there is kind of an archway on the back wall of that mudroom that leads into a large, uh, like dining room slash living area. So there's like couches and chairs and things like that. And you can see Victoro standing within that living area, looking down on Liara. I'll just say who she is mm -hmm. currently. Um, looking down on Liara and speaking to her. He doesn't appear to be overly aggressive, 
Um, though he does appear, he has dropped that whole I'm a gracious host act and definitely appears very angry and irritated, but he doesn't appear to be like on the verge of attacking her so far. Does can is am I in a position to where um Olivia can see me if I you know made a you know try and signal her? her no it's so nah. the archway you can only kind of see him and then behind him there's some couches mm -hmm. if he wanted to be able to get her attention at all you'd probably have to go within the home and kind of gotcha. like, be like Hello. all right i don't want to do that at least yet i'm just gonna i'm just gonna you know be here try and go unnoticed and just if he makes any aggressive movements that might change what I do. Okay. Um, he does eventually, at one point, he does raise his voice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but that's fine. Uh, because, and you can kind of hear it, they're arguing. He's trying to, to get information from her about what happened to Sephia and how much she knows and how she infiltrated everything so easily. Um, he's demanding to know who she actually is. He's threatening her with being able to drop whatever disguise she has magically if she doesn't do it willingly. Um, she is very calm, cool, collected, responding to his... She's not, like, acting overly kind, but she's just answering his questions. He's demanding to know who she is. She's telling him no. Um, and she calls his bluff about being able to magically drop her disguise. And he smiles. And he kind of moves his hands in front of him with like a somatic components. And with the spellcasting ability check that I just rolled, he is indeed able to drop her disguise. Mm. So Stan, so he kind of like takes a step back and just like, don't doubt me kind of gesture. And you can kind of see her at this point because in their kind of talking, they've been kind of not walking around, but they're not just, like, stiffly standing in one place. So she's kind of adjusted and moved to a point where you could see her. You could theoretically try to get her attention now if you wanted to. Um, yeah, I will I will attempt to get her attention and kind of do, like, just give her, like, hand gestures and, like, if you need me, let me know kind of thing. You know, I, I, I'll come in. Okay. So I'm making two rolls for her. One is going to be a perception check to see if she notices you, and she does. So she kind of moves forward. She's got her arms crossed over her chest. She's, like, cocked a hip out, one leg out, um, and she, like, glances over and towards you, sees you making these wild hand gestures at her, and then looks back at Victoro. I am, however, rolling a performance check to see mm -hmm. how well she is able to just sort of keep that... Yeah. cool and not allude to him that anything has been noticed or occurred of course I didn't have her character sheet out for some reason so give me two seconds to pull that up you are fine uh, she has a special ability it's that like, all performance checks are a natural 20 her performance check her performance she's, she's a bard like, she's I fine think yeah. plus 13 she's got expertise <laughs> I think they're like plus thirteen. She's got ex yeah, she's got expertise. If she's got expertise, she's got, she's got ridiculous. Charisma. It's like Callista with her that's, perception. That's, that's, the that's only thing I ever remember is the, the only thing I ever remember is she has expertise in athletics. Because she, she she arm wrestles bitches all the time and they're always like, I can beat her, she's just a little girl. And she like slams them. She's strong as shit. Hold on one second. Okay. You know, this wouldn't have happened if she just turned into Liara the Clown. So she has a plus 13 and she rolled a 16. So Damn. Okay. 
So it's like a single glance in your direction and then with just her eyes and then back at him. Um, seeing her actual appearance, he's very angry because he knows who she is. Because as herself, she infiltrated that cult. She had been working with people and trying to get as much information oh. as she possibly could oh. to assist you guys. Oh. So he knows exactly who she is now that her disguise has been crossed or been dropped. So he's very angry. And she, he's like 6'5", she's 5 feet. So he's like looming over her. And she is standing her ground. She is not moving. Um, he's starting to yell about, this is ridiculous, I trusted you, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> um, so she's starting to yell. Uh, <laughs> wow. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm trying to think of what. God, he's. Um. He doesn't say anything. He points in a direction, like towards the back of the room. You can't see what he's pointing at. And he tells her to start walking. And... <laughs> Sorry, Christy, that was really funny. <laughs> and she's got her arms crossed and she doesn't move immediately. Um, and he gives her a now, like a go, and she, you don't know if she has given up, if she's biding her time, what her plan is, but with, she pauses, she kind of glances towards the window where she can see you. She doesn't do anything other than move her eyes. Looks back at Victoro and start, turns slowly and starts to walk where he told her to go. Come on, girl, you gotta be more direct with Frey. Does that mean do something or God. not do something? What does that mean? <laughs> God. Oh, um, alright. What would Frey do? You, you hear in your head. Because okay. she can cast sending. Okay. <laughs> Don't do anything stupid. I have okay. this handled. Okay. Just go back. You're very lucky that you sent that I was about to come inside. I know. <laughs> I, I can't talk anymore. Damn it. Hmm. Such as she has it handled, but do I... Grabs you. <laughs> Fine. Second message... If I don't message in 24 hours, there's a problem. Otherwise, ignore this and do what you need to do. Fine. I just better, I, I better not be the one that has to tell them that you're dead. I will walk away. I'll take off my mask and walk back towards the party. Okay. I'll, I'll try and go find my friends. I mean, I know where they are, so I'm going to head to the basement. Okay. So. Back in the basement. Um, It's been a hot minute downstairs, so I would say actually at this point in time when they find the poison and when all of these spells are finishing is probably about when Frey can get to the basement as well. Um, Victoria, are we, do you want to pour these out or put these in the hole? I was thinking putting them in the hole, but everyone's stuff was in there, so I didn't want to suggest it, but at this point, I feel like the stuff is, like, whatever. I mean, it's covering just my, yeah, it's fine. Covering my armor, well, no, I'll, uh, 
Like, I don't care if my armor and stuff. I, I know you have, like, what your clothes and your yeah, bag. We can put, take your bag you out. I have a lot of on, stuff in that bag. If you put the armor on and the poison hurts your skin. Because we don't... I don't think we know... Well, I'm not like saying... Can we can always purify things. it later. Well, I'm not saying we have to pour it in there. Yeah, yeah just I'm put the actual... We can, like, take the, put the actual jugs in there. Oh, okay, that's fine. <laughs> and then we and then we just have 40, gal 40 gallons gallons. That's honestly of, probably of the better way to do it. So it's just... It's not on the property anymore yeah okay i'll start i'll start and whatever that doesn't fit we can pur i can purify it i'll just cast it yeah okay i'm helping sir uh to put all of the jugs into the um thing um frey are you down so you're down here now right? i yes yeah, so i got down there um uh, as i get down there uh so she sent me a message and told me not to do anything, and she said she has it handled. However, she said if she, we don't hear from her in 24 hours, disregard that message. If no. we don't hear from her in 24 hours, we should do something? Yes. I feel like she's got this. I feel like she has a plan. She'll figure it out. Like, she's good I, thinking on her feet, you know? He, he yelled at her to, to, to walk and pointed in a direction. And then she started to do it. Do you remember where did, what direction? Yeah, where yes. did they go? Wait. Uh, I, I will... Yeah, I will explain okay. where they went. Okay. I mean, I don't know I, exactly where they went, but like... You know. I'm pretty okay, sure that's way. like where he came out of when he arrived. Mm. Because I was in the bushes, hiding, when I saw him come, and he walked out of... Yeah... Oh. oh, he like came out of a build. He came out of like he a might building. be taking. Yeah, he somewhere. came out of he came out of a building. So he might be and just oh. showed up. So he's probably taking her somewhere. Like maybe back to Neverwinter. Ooh, buddy. He knew who she was, by the way. Also, or at least that's what it seemed like. I think oh. she did mention that she, because she can't use her her disguise for more than like twenty four hours anyway. Yeah, so she had. Oh, he dispelled that. Also. Oh, great. Yeah. Okay. Fine. Okay. Okay. She wouldn't can... use her real name. It's she's just red-haired girl. We know Victoria's you know... probably strong, but we know Liara hasn't let us down. I feel like we can trust her, and if it's like Frey says, and we don't hear from her, I think we owe it to her to try and help her at least. But at that point. Yeah, I was just, I think she messaged me right when I was about to uh, head for that door. Yeah. And, no, yeah, so smart she, to listen to her. She usually has a plan. I you, that's what you all told me. Yeah. Wait, you you finished your spell, right? Yeah, that's what. I do can't that's cast what, Oh. No, no. do you want to tell Moongi to oh, change fuck, where thank he's you. going to? Yes. I will message Moongi. Should fuck. I go because... running after? Should I go running after Moongi? I think it's a little late for that now. No, we don't know. I am very is. fast. Well, no, you could no, no. you could tell him to go to my house, and then I can meet him there. That's we are not. Us five are not splitting up. At, I'm a girl. Us five are uh, not splitting up anymore. Okay. <laughs> um, well, we're just... going to stay together because the thing is, as long as we have his son, we have something over him. Where is Rainy right now? Probably believe, at his house. I believe, yeah, I believe we didn't have uh, a necess necessarily a task for Raynor. Nope. I'm sure possibly that the Harpers have eyes or ears on this in some way. Wasn't the Three I, of Cups still guarded? Also? We, yeah, we're, the Three of Cups is has members of the Grey Hand. Yeah. So, I mean, they wouldn't let if, you know... Okay. So it might actually might be safer. The safe is there at the Three of Cups with the guards there. I know, but we kidnapped a Lord's son. Yeah. Um. The Grey yeah. Hand doesn't know that that's Shit. what we're doing. But yeah, Valeria would be fine as long as we explain that to her. Uh, okay, I'm to I'm going to change. I'm going to change the person I'm sending a message to. I think I'm going to send a message to Rainy. Okay. Because you, you, we we told him to go to the Three of Cups, right? Like, that's where he's going. Mm -hmm. so, okay. Yeah, that's all I told him. Okay, great. I will message Rainy. 
I don't want to count it out right now because Christy's scatterbrained. But in essence, she's going to tell him that Moongi has a tail. Meet him at the Three of Cups and keep them both safe. You got it. Thank you. I'm not sending another message, but yes, thank you. God. <laughs> we've got we've got friends. We got friends, and I'm gonna utilize it because, like, like you said, he's connected to the Harpers. Uh, Mungi isn't as familiar as Water- Waterdeep as as uh, Rainy is, so I feel like they're really good friends I, anyway. They're, they'll be fine together. I think Raynor has been waiting in his house, boots on, rapier on his belt, being like. Just you say the word. You guys can't see him clearly, and it's inconsequential to the game, so I will tell you, he has been ready and on standby, just in case you guys needed him. I love Rainer. Well, Rainer. He knew he's you like, guys were doing this, and he was worried as hell. Oh. He was like, I'm ready. He, I'm he's so like, glad I messaged him like, instead. He's like, he's like, he's like, at the door with hands on his hips. <laughs> he's like, he's like, all right, Raynor, time to save the day again. <laughs> oh. Yes, yes. So, yeah, I feel like that was the smarter move instead of wasting two messages of telling both of them. Just get Rainy. Mm-hmm. Rainy can convey that to Moongi and Moongi will trust it because right. they're good. Hey, so the question is, what now? Um. Well, all of you should come and help us with the rest of these drugs. Uh, yeah. You definitely need We're gonna to come load in this. here and help. Okay. okay. I will come in there and help. Yeah, me too. What's up? And then... Really- that's a really nice suit. You look really good. You look great. Oh, thank you. This is the first you. time I've seen you up close. He oh, looks really good. I, I picked it on myself. Stay out I, of my I like... field of vision. Why? I can't, I can't deal with it. <laughs> I start okay. doing some poses. Why is let's, that? Let's, no, on, huh? let's, let's, let's. I slap you on the arm. Um, oh. we'll lo- what I say is we load the rest of this into the portable hole. I will roll it up. I'll put it right back into my little clutch purse. Thank you, by the way, Talus. This is such a cute clutch. Um... We'll close that secret door, try and relock it, and put the thing back in front of it. And then I guess we need to find El Zarina, and then the mission is complete. Oh, Wait, we're, we're keeping of... poison. We're keeping the poison. Yeah. yeah. Well, we found awesome. more. That's all. That's oh. great. We, if we, no, if it's we, not I mean, for you. It's not for you. I mean, I, no, I'm but I mean, it's, to... poison's very useful for multiple different things. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, because because I'm trying to conserve their their magic in case this ends up still going bellies up yeah. somehow. Um, as long as it's all I, in I one totally place, understand that. if it's all in one place, that makes it easier for you to purify it, right? If they're like all yes. clumped together. Yes. Yes. So so there's that. So yeah. Um. Can I keep like your one jug? Elzer- no. Speaking of finding El I, um, when I'm able, I'm gonna look into Bramble's eyes because he is still following. Good idea. Ezebel, who I bullied into looking for El who is currently. Oh, hold on. <laughs> Caspian, no. Stop Yo, eating puppy. the souls of the day. He just drinks so loud. Yeah. Um,. <laughs> You go into Bramble, probably just in time at this point, to see Ezebel. She's got Elzarina by, like, her upper bicep and is, like, like, not dragging her. Like, she's not, if she's at a party, she needs to keep up appearances and stuff, but it's, like, a go sort of dragging her to the house. <laughs> so, I'm oh, outside. so she was, oh, she was hiding outside. Okay. Oh, I found, I found Elzarina. Well, can you go? Can you go take her? I can well, try. We're, we're just gonna leave now, aren't we? Yeah, we I guess we can. The party's done. No, I think we can leave. Yeah. She wasn't really convinced by me the first time, but I'll try to get her this time. I mean, I, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to do this, but I could totally just like knock her out for a little no. bit. No. Like I said, I wouldn't want to do, do that, you, but I'm just saying last ditch like effort. Wait, we... do you way back when tried to put me to sleep with a spell? Do you have that? That's Bramble with his arrows. I can put people to sleep. I don't know if I, I had this. I think sleep I actually always. Way back when. I think I always have it. Oh, well, Let me check. I, I had the sleep spell the time that I was trying to stop you from. Um, yeah, I have fighting it. with um, a guy. A mur- he was not. Oh my god. Um. <laughs> 
But I don't have it prepared today. I have it. Nova? I have it. Okay. Okay. I so always have we, it because that's how I make money. <laughs> if we really need to, we can put her to sleep. It's a child. She's a child. True. Yeah. I know it's sort of like we're kidnapping two lord, two 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 children of a it, lord, but we're I trying know. to save them. So but we the got better. the mother's permission, so there you go. True. We did get the mother's permission to kidnap them. So let's let's get her. We're gonna need to. Can we put her in the? Hole? No, we can't put her. in No, the hole. no not in the hole. No. no. She needs to. Really... Not with the poison. No, but you wait. You put her to sleep. You make her invisible. Or I turn into Victoro. Oh no, wait, Victoro is six five. Oh my god. No, you I don't. Yeah, I turn into. The, I turn back into the nanny. I can't turn into Victoro. I think <laughs> I think tiny Victoro. Sh short King Victoro. <laughs> We now the thing is we don't have another carriage, and if she wakes up, she'll probably scream. <clears throat> I do have rope I have in my bag. Calm emotions. Okay, well let's just get her to sleep. And it get it her is off. it is silk rope, so it's not like the normal uh, heavy duty no, stuff. No, 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 like, no, 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 absolutely you guys, not. You guys, this sounds horrible. Absolutely I know this not. sounds let's horrible. Go. We're trying to save a kid. Everyone stop. Listen, everyone stop. Everyone stop and listen. I, I actually no, also have no, manacles and- Frey, Sorry. stop. Listen, stop. What? Okay, so here's the thing. The guards went to go look for the carriage, which means they're not in the carriage house, which means we could probably get out of the carriage house easily, as opposed to trying to go through the front gates. So we're going to go get her. We're going to put her to sleep. We're going to go through the carriage house. Okay. I'm not super great at carrying people, but I will try. But if somebody, in case there are guards, can just, like, get them out of the way while we run out of there... Then we're gonna get out. We're leaving. We're going home. Let's go. Okay. I Let's become the, the nanny. Okay. So what did you guys do with the forty gallons of poison? Po a in portable hole. We all hole. collectively put them in the portable hole. Yep. Without pouring think, them out. I think forty gallons jugs will fit in ten feet deep of a hole. I think that would. Yeah, work. yeah. Those, yeah they're not a, very yeah. big. It's a yeah. It's a ten foot. Yeah. Ice, yeah. Like six yeah, foot. They're, like it's a they're actually not that heavy either, because like they're, I have fifty pound jugs in the other room. Mm. That's not. Yeah. Right. That Don't flex on us, Jesus. <laughs> He's like, yeah, I just you know, I just got. 50 I didn't say that. Jugs. I did not. Say, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but yeah, so they're they haven't been poured out, so they're okay. still yeah intact. All right. What are we just, doing? I just want to know, just, is there any marking on any of them that would denote where they got these from? Just because that's also someone that I have a problem with. In the cork of each of the bottles. This is a very good question. Hey, stop it. In the cork of each of the bottles, there is burnt a teardrop shape. So it's like a teardrop and it's got the little like shine part uh, in the cork of the bottle. Mm. Okay. We'll remember that. Yeah, I that. think we're just gonna Teardrop. go meet uh, the two out outside before they get to the house, if possible. Yeah, like booking it to yeah. wherever I saw the right yeah. from. Uh, she was making her way to the mudroom door. So you can head to there. Um, they probably did manage to get into the house, but it would be like you meeting them before they can get to the library. Yeah, trying to intercept yeah. them as fast as possible. I found her. Oh, look at you. You can actually do something right. Good job. She pushes um, her towards you. Uh, I would, will, like, hold her. And Elzarina is, hey! What's That's going so on? We're taking you to your mom and brother. You know, your father fixed the problem. No one's going to get hurt anymore. Well, I know. It's because my dad can fix anything. He's very capable. Do you want to go, do you want to go see your brother? I want my dad. He'll be there later. He's got a lot of work to do. I'm He's right here, darling. Shit. Fuck. He appears in the doorway. Um, Liara is not with him. 
Oh no. Um, I'm... Okay, so, are there two doors or one door into this room? Like, is it like a, Where are we a right door now? from the outside and then another door to... Yeah, are we in the mudroom? Yeah. No, you're kind of in the main entry area. So the mudroom comes in from outside and goes in the... So outside, door into the mudroom. Other side of the mudroom is a door to the main entry hall where that big, like, chandelier is. And then along the wall further, the same wall that the door of the mudroom is on, is the door to the library. And that's where they were heading. So you're kind of standing in the entryway between the door to the library and the door to the mudroom. Okay. So we could, in theory, get out through the mudroom, though. That has a door to the outside. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm, like, looking at Nova. Although that is the door that Victoria just came through. Oh. I look at, I look at Nova. Mind link. D just do it. I I'm gonna make us both invisible. I can get her out. You guys need to figure out what happens from there. So what are we doing now? He says. I... I try to cast sleep on Elzarina. Oh my god. Oh With my him god, right there in the middle of the party? Do you... What? I mean, I can. I have something to say to him. I, 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 I can, can wait. I can hold. Uh, because of, Pepper. I, I be right back. Anyway. I was. Okay. Now, as we've already spoken about, we're going to go through the proper channels to get you the help yes. that you need. I know, but there are steps in between, are they not? Well, we need to go speak with. Probably L'Oreal. Immediately. You're the you're the one that's on a on a time clock. Would you like it to be tomorrow? I want to know what you're doing for my children before that happens. They're the most important thing to me here. All we wanted to do was get them away from a dangerous situation. She's right here, so perhaps let's speak with a little bit more grace, shall we? We just wanted them to be able to see their mom on their birthday. Or the day of their birthday party. And where is my wife? She's going to come and show up to say hello to her children. Where? I'm not in charge of your wife. She's not my wife. She's yours. I'm not in charge of my wife either. <laughs> well, then, then ask her where she is, Victoro, because I don't we, know. How about I? I will step up and I'll actually you put a hand on Victoro. <sighs> ew, you killed my whole family. Ew. Um, but I'm gonna try and I'm going to try and play it like how he's been playing it this whole time. I'm going to step forward. I'm gonna put a hand on it. And I'm going to. Lean in, I'm going to say. Well, here, let me step out of character first, make sure my party's okay with it, and then if so, this is what Sir says. Okay. I think maybe we all, we have one of two children. What if we let him keep his daughter, we keep his son, so that we can set up a meeting with Lariel and we'll have both children there and have her mom come and we bring it all out in the open. Sort of like a uh, hostage meetup kind of thing. Sounds good to me. I'm not a fan. I'm not well, either. What but... do you, well, what do you guys think that we should do? Get, because like, we should get have both the children. Home. Yeah. Okay, well, I don't think he's going to hand it over to hand her over to us. And there's we can't really do anything about Unless we want to start casting spells, and then this becomes... And like, then she's chase. she's not going to want to go with us. And if we put her to sleep, he's going to attack us anyway, and then she's going to wake up and be mad at us and not want anything to do with us either way. Or, or we say she comes... The other thing I can try and convince him of, and he's been... He is like... I can tell this man is like... He's looking for just that little crack. If he lets us 
take her, then he's not going to let us take her if we don't tell him where we're taking her, is the thing. So we either need to give up the location, or we need to say something like, we're going to take them right to Lariel, so that we can have this conversation in front of her. Hmm. I mean, I would be totally okay if it meant us getting her away from him. I'd be okay with telling him where we're going. Are you okay with me telling him that we're taking her to the Three of Cups? I mean, yeah, yeah I guess that's, that's fine. That's, that's our home don't... turf. If we if we want to do the, I'm, we can do the hostage thing if everybody else wants to do that. I just personally don't also like separating yeah. them for a long period of time. Yeah, technically, you all out. Uh, vote us so well i have i I'm on the, the, I'm on the i don't want to do a vote okay. that's not what i want to do i want to find wants to do a quorum yeah not a vote <laughs> I'm... i also would prefer that you guys find an agreeable solution just so that there's not i don't want to say animosity because mm-hmm. i know you're not there's no animosity we... towards each other with whatever decision but i'm fine with it either way because as i see it he knows that everybody lives basically lives at the Three of Cups anyway. Yeah, so it's yeah. not like we're compromising where we live because he already knows. Yeah, and we it's... have the great hand there, not that they're probably going to help, but we have we have connections that know the Three of Cups well, probably better than Victoro, like even how to like navigate it. Okay. So I think Three of Cups is like our lair. We have the home advantage. And, yeah. And we have Raynar moving. And we okay, have so Rainy going me... there already. So I feel like that's a safe bet versus separating the twins. Okay, so here's what I say when I walk up to Victoria. Thank you okay. for uh, yeah, no. the aside. Thank you for asking. Thanks for asking. <laughs> um, all right, Victoria. You win. Right now, we just have... El Zarino? No. What's it? El Zarino? Terenzio. El Zarino Terenzio. Sorry. <laughs> right now... Right now, we just have Terenzio going on a ride in a carriage so that they're not in one place. We don't want to keep the kids separated. So, if I tell you where we're going to have them both be, will you tell her it's okay to come with us? I'm willing to cooperate as long as my questions are answered. Okay. If I'm going to be doing anything... Regarding any of this, with you, I can't be out of the loop when it comes to my kids. Once everything was settled and we figured that the mission was complete, we were going to take the kids right to the Three of Cups because we have it being watched by the Grey Hand right now. So you want to take El Zarina there? We'll take them both there and we'll have your wife come. And we'll tell Lariel, we'll get everybody, and we'll talk this out. All right. We'll we'll find a solution. And he kind of crouches down to Alzarina. Darling, do you hear that? You're just going to go with them for a little while, okay? Your mother will be there soon, and I'll be following. Promise. And this is probably the most personable you have ever seen this man that didn't seem fake. He kind of leans forward and puts his forehead to hers and like bumps their noses together. Of course, darling, I never break a promise. Now go, okay? And he kind of straightens up and she kind of smooths her dress out and she goes to stand next to Talus. Why don't you... Why, why don't, why don't we get this thing over with? I will squat down and um, there was a lot going on so I, I, I failed to say this so if it takes a minute that's fine but once we have El Zarina, um, I don't 
think Bramble needs to follow um Azabel. Azabel any sorry, the E Z names. Um yeah, he doesn't need to follow her anymore because I know who she was and that's fine. So then okay. I wanna have Bramble come uninvisible and I'm gonna have him sit in my hands and I'm gonna pass him to Elzarina. Um, I'm gonna have her like put her hands out and I'll pass him okay. over so she can hold him. And I'm going to say I'm very sorry about all the confusion. That wasn't fair. I didn't know how to explain everything that was going on because I don't even know what's going on all the time. I I'm almost 10 years old. You don't have to keep secrets from me anymore. You're absolutely right. I didn't like when my parents kept secrets from me, so I won't keep secrets from you. But why don't you hold Bramble? He's, you know he's my most special friend, so that's a big responsibility. And we can go and walk to the Three of Cups now. Okay. He'll even shoot an arrow at, at some of my friends if you, like, really ask him to. <laughs> this is where- this is Victoro. This is where I ask for a modicum of trust. I have things I need to take care of to get this party squared away and done with. I'm going to do that. I will meet you at the Three of Cups later tonight. Okay. You have my kids, so you can be sure I will be there. Can I try Good. and insight this man? Just, she feels so on edge. I'm, I'm trying what are you to, trying to I'm glean? I'm trying to gleam if he's really not just going to go back to the party and slaughter everyone because he's so angry Rip. right now. Like, did we piss him off? Him, I was literally going to ask him, hey, so we have your kids, so please don't murder everybody, but just insight him. That's so much easier. Sure. Like, I, I'm looking roll. for a murderous rage right now, uh, I think. We'll see what you can glean. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. That's a natural 18 plus 8. 26. Thank you. Definitely not murderous rage. Okay. Um, Just again, because we pissed this man he, off. Frey, you did see him very angry not very long ago. And the way that he's behaving right now is a very stark difference to the way that he was behaving not long ago. And Liara did not return with him. Uh, he seems to be the kind of man who needs to be in control of everything he has consistently asked you for details which means which you can kind of determine especially in the way that he has been speaking to you now he needs to know every step every step of the way he needs to know what's going on especially when it comes to his kids so what you're kind of gleaning right now is that he is grasping for some level of control over a situation that he cannot predict he doesn't know what's about to happen to him or his family. But he needs to know what's going to happen with his kids. And he's using it as this, like, obsessive need and consistent pestering of what's the next fucking step as, like, a way to kind of find that control. So he's okay. that that's kind of what you're getting, is that he has gotten enough from you guys to not feel like he has to push back so much okay i think nova relaxes upon seeing like the hesitation yeah. almost in him now yeah. so she's like there's okay. there is definitely a hesitation in him yes okay yeah you were like yeah, you would look like you were falling asleep there for a second, baby. <laughs> I wanna, anyway. um, as we're walking away, I just wanna stop by, um, oh my god, I just read his name. Victoro? Victoro, thank you, yes. I, so I wanna be the last person to walk by, and just, okay. as I'm like shoulder to shoulder with him. Don't touch me. <laughs> What happened with uh, our mutual friend? Which mutual friend? 
<laughs> Come on now. Be specific. The one that you took upstairs in the guest house. I didn't take her upstairs anywhere. Why did you took her? She pestered her for information and off on her own she went. Did she not come find you? You know, I, you're, you're a smart man. Yes, I am. If I find out something has happened to her... I know you're not just about to threaten me right now. I am. Hmm. <laughs> and... You will regret doing that. And I would just give him a little pat on the sh shoulder, and I'm gonna dig my like longer nails normally just into his like shoulder a little bit as he was showing off strength earlier. I'm gonna do the same. Okay. And then just kind of like give him a little pat and walk away. Well, he puts his hand on your hand and kind of grabs your wrist to keep you there, and he bends down. I'm being as cooperative as possible. But if you ever talk to me like that again, I will skin you alive and dump you in the ocean and watch you squirm. You will, you will certainly try. I, I know a lot more powerful men than you. You do not scare me. But have I know a good day. a very powerful man. You as well. I'll just follow my friends out. Okay. Can anybody... Should we, like... Guys, so now that we're out and we're doing it, can somebody, um, let, uh, Malia know? Hmm? That we have her kids? Oh. Did we do that? I'm sorry, Nova. I know it's always you. I, I can, but I wanna... I wanna actually see them together before I send her a message. Okay. All right. Okay. So, are we just walking home? Because uh, <laughs> we don't have a carriage. We can get a drawing. Yeah, I, wanna, not, let's grab I a wanna know what was in that freaking corner. I wish we could like get a drawing of it, but we gotta go. We gotta get these kids out. We, I wish, oh. Yeah. Okay. I mean, can you, can you, can you send? No, because Bramble's being held. He also isn't able to open doors, so if there's any closed doors on the path, like, he's fucked. Do you want me to leave Hickory, who is a teeny tiny spider, and see if Hickory can like get all the way in there? I feel like if he can, if we can at least try to get somebody up there to see whatever is in that corner, because it could literally be anything. It could be right. a mirror, right. it could be a door, it could be up, a teleportation circle, circle, it could be a shark mouth. Upstairs, upstairs, <laughs> upstairs <laughs> guest Valerie? house in the corner. Don't Freddy... know if it was upstairs. Yeah, because all he could away. see was him leaving the view from the front door. So you're not entirely sure where they went once they left that view. It could have just been in that same room. It could have been upstairs. It could have been out the back door and on the street. You're not sure. But the guest house. Yes. Yeah. We're going to have a few hours. So as we're walking by, I'm going to just sort of go to... I I'm sure they have like some nice like shrubs or something, like some flowers. I'm going to like just sort of brush it and I'm going to have Hickory crawl off my finger okay, into the bush and I'm going to say, you've got a lot of time, buddy. This is your moment. This one right here. I want you to search that guest house top to bottom. Okay. And remember it. I love All you, right. buddy. <laughs> Does anybody have anything else they want to do or add before we wrap up for today? Nope. Just gonna come blasting into the three of cups. Give me back to care. <laughs> the the the, the, oh. the Candace meme where she kicks up with the birds of moss. Yeah. Also, uh, rest in peace, Liara. We enjoyed you while you mm -hmm. lasted. Um it sucks that you're now at the bottom of an ocean being eaten by piranhas. Rest in peace. No, you guys don't know what the hell happened to her. Okay. 
for all you, for all you know, she could have just left. <laughs> but thank you, everyone, for showing up this week for Waterdeep Dragon Heist Resurface. We were happy to have you. Uh, any closing remarks or announcements? Don't forget to check out Little Dragon Corp and Cardboard Castle Games. Thank you to Adrian Von Ziegler for our music. Uh, please check out our games that we have going basically like every night of the week. And um, stay funky fresh. Hell you. <laughs> Alright. Uh, when you are trying to threaten a high priest of Asmodeus Make sure you add your proficiency bonus. Hell yeah. We will see you guys next week. With yeah. Vigil, right? Yes. Are we going off schedule sure. or are we it's whatever y'all want to do. back to Waterdeep again? We'll figure it out. We'll yeah, figure we'll it figure it out. It will have a game next week. Same time, same <laughs> Batman station. We don't owe anyone any explanation anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Love you, bye. Good night. Bye. bye. bye.